Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Ann Hen here. We back to it, you know how we do it. But today is a little bit different. Today we're gonna be going through the 2021 March Madness NCAA bracket. So Debo in here, Debo gonna do his own video. We're actually in his room over there right now. I hope you don't even want him to hear this right now. Bro, close your door. I don't want you to hear my picks. Why are you stealing your picks? Oh, all right. You go ahead. But no, let's put, let's put some money on the line. Hundred dollars for the best bracket. Hundred dollars for the best bracket. That's what we're gonna do. Hundred dollars for the best bracket. So you definitely gotta close your door now. Oh, I ain't cheating off you. I got my pick. Nah, bro. See, he be cheating, bro. I'm telling y'all, he be cheating. He be cheating, man. But all right, fuck it. We gonna we gonna get into it. We gonna get into it. And I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I haven't really done too much research, so. I don't know too much about these teams, but I'm gonna just pick just off straight bias. Like off if I like the, the the colors, you know, I like I played against them or just different random stuff like that is gonna determine my picks. So I'm hope I'm hoping that's what's gonna get me to win. I was hearing this is the, the year where the least amount of research you do, the better you'll probably end up doing in this, you know, in this, in this bracket picking. You know who's gonna win, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a crazy, a crazy tournament. So I'm gonna just go off, you know, straight, just just how I feel. I'm not about to think too much into it. And I guarantee it's still gonna be the best bracket. So let's get to it, let's get to it. First game, Gonzaga versus Norfolk State or Appalachian State. I don't even know who's gonna win out of that, but it really don't matter. Gonzaga gonna get it. Uh, Oklahoma, Missouri. I don't know anybody on either one of these teams. Hey, you know anybody for Oklahoma or Missouri? You know anybody for Oklahoma or Missouri? So do I know anybody? Yeah, for Oklahoma or Missouri. Now, now you on my input and you talking about I can't hear you? Low man, key, no. low key. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, you know what? Like I said, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna think too much into it. Oklahoma, uh, Trey Young with Oklahoma, so I'm picking Oklahoma. Creighton versus UCSB. That's University of California, Santa Barbara. Okay, I always want to go up there. They got a nice, a super nice uh, whole facility, whole campus. I think it's pretty dope. But Creighton is the five seed, so I'm gonna go with Creighton on that one. Virginia versus OU. Oh, you, they was in my, they was in my league. You know, I played for Bowling Green, which is in the MAC. And oh, you was in our conference. So, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta show them some love because they made it out of my conference. So, upset alert. We're going oh, you. We're going oh, you. USC versus Drake. I played against Drake. My senior year, that was our first, our first game of the season was against Drake at Drake. I think it's like in Iowa somewhere, but. I'm gonna go with USC. You know, I live in LA now, so USC it is. Uh, Kansas versus Eastern Washington. I don't know much about Eastern Washington at all. And since they're the 14th seed and Kansas is the three seed, I'm going with Kansas. Oregon versus BCU. BCU got a Toledo boy on their team. Uh, Vincent, what's his last name? Williams. Williams. Vincent Williams, he's from Toledo. You know, shout out to him, he in the, in the big dance. You know, that, that's big time from our city. So, with that being said, upset alert on BC. Iowa versus Grand Canyon. Um, I, I think I went to a Grand Canyon game before. They, they got like one of the most littest gyms ever. Like the crowd be crazy, you know, they be, they be going wild in there, but they not at home, so. I'm going with the big seven foot dude that Iowa got. I can't think of his name off the top of my head right now, but he's he's good, so I'm going with Iowa. What's, uh, put that in the comments too, what's his name, bro? Like, I can't really remember what's the big dude for Iowa. I forget, Garb? Start with a G, I think. I don't know, but let me know what his name is in the comments. All right, over to the South Division. Baylor versus Hartford. I heard Baylor got like the best uh, guard duo in the league or in the whole country. I heard they got the best guard duo in the whole country. So I'm going Baylor. Uh, North Carolina versus Wisconsin. I remember a lot of people were saying this year was the first year where North Carolina, Duke, and Kentucky was all trash. Like this is the worst, this is the worst year of them three they ever had, like combined. So with that being said, they getting knocked out first round. I'm going Wisconsin. Shout out to the Big Ten. Villanova versus Winthrop. I don't know why I just did all that. Villanova. 
Purdue versus North Texas. Uh, shout out to Texas. Um, do I know anybody with the North Texas? It didn't really matter. Purdue. Um, Texas Tech versus Utah State. I feel like Utah State is the type of team that's gonna have some type of Cinderella story. Some type of, some type of. I ain't gonna say Cinderella story, but I think they're gonna come out the first round. So, taking them over Texas Tech. Arkansas versus Colgate. Uh, Arkansas is a three seed. That's crazy. But for some reason, I feel like every year a fourteen seed always be the three seed. Always, and that always happens. So. That being said, I'm going with Colgate. Florida versus Virginia Tech. Hmm. I know Florida had the one guy at the beginning of the season that, that passed out during the game. He's supposed to be like their best player. I don't know if he's back. Let me know in the comments if he's back yet. But I remember him being super nice and they lost him. So I know they missing him. But with that being said, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Virginia Tech. Sorry, Florida. Then Ohio State or Robert. Shout out to the O, man. You know, like I said, if y'all y'all never watched any of my videos before, you then you wouldn't know that I'm from Ohio. Me and my brother, we both from Ohio, so I'm going to Ohio State, man. I think they can they can do a lot in this tournament. So there it is. All right, we're going down to the East Side. Michigan, Texas Southern. My boy Zeb, Zeb Jackson. He's from from Ohio, from Toledo specifically, from my city, actual city. So. I'm um, wishing him the best. You know, he's number one seed with Michigan, so we're going Michigan. Uh, next, LSU versus St. Bonaventure. Now, I watched that LSU game when they played in the SEC Championship, and they was balling, but uh, I think they ended up losing to Alabama. So I want to pick LSU, but I also want to pick St. Bonaventure, too, because they was one of the first schools to ever offer me a scholarship. So I'm kind of torn because, you know, I want to rock with them. I told y'all I'm going to have some biases. Like, it's going to be some bias in this, in this bracket, which I think is what's going to make me win. Like, I honestly think that's what's going to make me win. But I got to go LSU, man. They got this one shooter on their team. I think his last name Thomas. That boy be lighting it up. So, LSU it is. Uh, We're going to do Colorado Georgetown. Uh, My former coach. My former coach is an assistant coach at Georgetown. Shout out to Coach Orr. He's, uh, like I said, he's, he's with Patrick Ewan over there. So, upset alert. We're going to go with Georgetown, man. I don't know too much about Colorado. Uh, Florida State versus North Carolina Greensboro. And just because I don't know too much about North Carolina Greensboro, we're going to go Florida State. Uh, BYU versus Michigan State UCLA. I think that's so weird that they make these, these two powerhouse schools play a playing game. Like, that make it tough. Like you would think that it would be like a mid-major, you know, one of those one of those type teams that that do the play-in game, but they making Michigan State and UCLA do a play-in game, which is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. So I can't really pick. I don't want to just pick one of them to say that one of them is gonna be B at BYU because I don't know who it is. So I guess for this I'm gonna have to pick BYU. Whatever happens, y'all better y'all better beat them. Texas versus Abilene Christian, and no way is Abilene Christian gonna win this game. You know, I don't, I don't think that that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go Texas, man. Texas, Texas is balling. I was watching their uh, Big Twelve championship game against Oklahoma State, and it was balling. So Texas, it is. All right, and then we got UConn, Maryland. UConn, Maryland. Mm, that's tough. UConn is the known powerhouse. So you can't really go wrong with picking them, but Maryland had their years here and there. I don't really know too much about them this year, but we're going UConn, man. UConn. Shout out to Kimba. All right, we got Alabama versus Iona. Iona, shout out to Iona. They always in the, in the tournament. Uh, I think this is from New York. I'm not too sure exactly where in New York City they is, but they they definitely a known school that, that gets it done, and they, they've been in the uh, they've been in the tournament a lot. Shout out to my boy Josh Gomez. He uh he went to Bowling Green with me, but he transferred from Iona. So that's how I remember that school. But they're not about to get it done in this game. Shout out to Alabama, my boy Kelly fam. Uh Quinterly. He's a he's a monster, man. Shout out to him. Midwest, Midwest kids, man. We got Illinois versus Drexel. We're going to Illinois. I'm gonna talk too much. I'm gonna wait to talk a little bit more about the teams who I think gonna win once we get to like the final four and Elite Eight and all that good stuff. So Illinois gonna win that. Uh, we got Loyola Chicago versus Georgia Tech. Uh, 
Well, my cousin, he's from Memphis, Mo Miller. Shout out to Mo Miller, man. He uh, he went to Georgia Tech. You know, he was the starting point guard for them for like three years, uh, two, three years. So I got a little biasness towards Georgia Tech. So I'm going with G, I'm going with G Tech. Tennessee versus Oregon State. Mm. Kind of low key growing up, well, not so much basketball, but football for sure, 100%. Tennessee was my favorite college, like as far as football by far, like. Titans is my favorite NFL team, and the Volunteers is my favorite college football team. So, I got to go Tennessee, man. I always had a love for them in, in basketball a little bit, and just the program in general, man. I love them, that that orange and white Volunteers. So, I'm going Tennessee. Oklahoma State versus Liberty. We got Kay Cunningham versus Liberty. We're going Kay Cunningham. Uh, San Diego State versus Syracuse. That's tough. Uh, I rock with San Diego State. I haven't been down there uh, quite often. Um, super nice campus, super nice campus, but I don't know too much about their team. And they plan against a powerhouse in Syracuse. I don't care what Syracuse, you know, record is, you know, I feel like just that program got Syracuse. All right, uh, West Virginia versus Moorhead State. Uh, we played against Moorhead State at, at Bowling Green. When we went to there, I think it's in Kentucky. It's in Kentucky. They, they gave us a hard game too, but I'm going West Virginia. They're not about to beat them. Uh, we got Clemson versus Rutgers. Uh, again, I don't know too much about neither one of these schools this year. Um, go on Clemson, man. And then we got Houston versus Cleveland State. We got another Ohio team out here. I've seen quite a few Ohio teams. Uh, well, just three. OU, Cleveland State, and Ohio State. Uh, that's, that's three. That's good enough for me. But, um... Are they gonna get the upset? I don't think so. I'm going Houston. They number two for a reason. All right, we're about to go back up. Are right, we we to the second round now? Gonzaga, Oklahoma. Mm, I'm going Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga is one of the best teams in the country by far. And I'm not just saying that because they're the number one seed. I actually believe that. Jalen Suggs, I think, is gonna be a top five pick. So I'm going with Gonzaga. Uh, we got Creighton versus OU. OU, man, that's my that's my Cinderella. They, they, it's Ohio. It's the Mac. Like, how could I not, you know, hope for them to do well? But again, we got money on the line too, so I ain't gonna be too crazy. But I'm gonna go out on a limb, man. They 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 going to the Sweet 16. OU to the Sweet 16, man. All right, we got USC versus Kansas. USC versus Kansas. I'm going with the Mobley brothers. Uh, I think they're pretty good. So I'm gonna go USC, man. USC makes it to the Sweet 16. And then we got VCU versus Iowa. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. I want to go with my boy Vincent, Vincent Williams. He from, like I say, from Toledo. But Iowa been good all year, so Iowa gonna make it to the Sweet 16. All right, now we got Baylor versus Wisconsin. Wisconsin notoriously always good. We played against them my my junior year. We went to Wisconsin and they smashed it. They beat us by like 20. But again, man, they've been talking they've been talking highly of Baylor. A lot of people have been talking highly of Baylor. So I think they're gonna get it done against Wisconsin. Then we got Villanova versus Purdue. Villanova. Villanova was that school that the, probably the biggest school that ever sent me a letter. They never they never offered me anything, but they sent me a letter. So because of that, I'm going with Villanova. Utah State versus Colgate. Hmm. I don't really know too much about them, so it's pretty much about who I just who I'm guessing gonna win. And since Colgate got a dope name, it's a toothpaste name. I'm going with Colgate. Then we got Virginia Tech, O State. And again, I'm going with the Ohio State University. Shout out to O State, man. I hope y'all go far. And I say that and go straight to Michigan, <laughs> which is the rival of Ohio State, which is kind of funny. But Michigan versus LSU, I like both of them teams. I rock with both of them. So who do I want to go with? This is tough, y'all. This is tough. Let me know who y'all think in this one. This is the one I actually want y'all input in. Michigan or LSU, but I gotta go Michigan though. I got to. It's only right. Um, Georgetown, Florida State. Again, Coach Orr. Get it done, man. Get it done. I wish I could have made it to the tournament with you, but you made it. You made it with Georgetown, so I'm hoping you make it to the Sweet 16. 
We got BYU versus Texas. Um, I'm gonna go with Texas, man. I didn't I haven't really watched BYU this year. I mean, I heard they was playing pretty good, but I'm going with Texas, man. They uh they play they play K Cunningham. Yep, they play K Cunningham. So, and they actually had it was actually a pretty good game too. So, I'm going Texas. And now we got UConn versus Alabama. And Alabama balling, man. They've been balling all year. Again, the the Jelly Fam kid. I'm going, I'm going Alabama. Now we got Illinois versus Georgia Tech. We got Momo versus Illinois. Momo was my cousin, y'all. Y'all didn't catch that. But I'm going Illinois, man. Illinois is, uh, that's one of the few teams that I actually watched several times this year. And that guard they got over there, man. Let me find what his exact name is. He's doing a lot of Kobe, Kobe tributes. So, you know, I rock with him heavy. His name is Ayo. Ayo. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. So, I'm just going to say Ayo. Ayo is a monster. So, we're going with Illinois. Tennessee, Oklahoma State. Got Kay Cunningham versus Tennessee. I hate going against Tennessee, man, because like I said, that was that was one of my teams growing up. But Kay Cunningham, man, is arguably the number one pick this year. So how could I not, you know, not go with him? So Oklahoma State. Next we got Syracuse versus West Virginia. West Virginia the three seed. So obviously they've been balling this whole year. But if Syracuse running that zone, man, I don't know. I think Syracuse can beat anybody if they run that zone right. So we're gonna go Syracuse. And then we got Clemson versus Houston. And I'm going Houston, man. Houston is the number two seed. Um, don't know too much about Clemson. I, I remember, actually, I went to a Clemson game. I flew out there last year. Yeah, last year I flew out there for, for work. And I watched the Clemson game, and they got smacked by, like, 20. So I'm going Houston. All right, Sweet 16 it is, man. We got Gonzaga versus OU. OU, man, it was fun. I had a lot of fun, but we gotta go Gonzaga. Then we got USC versus Iowa. USC versus Iowa. I wanna stay with USC, cause that'd be dope that they, they make it, you know, all the way to the Elite Eight, but Iowa been balling all year, so I gotta go Iowa. All right, we got, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna go over here. We got Baylor versus Villanova. Mm. Well, I just wanna stay with Baylor, yeah, I'm gonna stay with Baylor, man. I'm gonna stay with Baylor. I got to, you know, shout out to Villanova with Baylor. I'm staying with Baylor. And then we got Colgate versus O State. And enough for the two pace team, we're going to Ohio State. All right, we got Michigan versus Georgetown. Hmm, we gotta go Michigan, man. I'm not, I'm trying my hardest not to just. Just keep the number one seeds out there because it never go down like that. It's never just four number one seeds in the final four. Like, I feel like that's never happened. Actually, put that in the comments for me, y'all. Like, let me know the last time we're all just four number one seeds in the final four. I'm actually curious. But we're going Michigan. I don't think Georgetown going to be able to beat them. Michigan been balling all year. They're number one for a reason. Oh, yeah. Texas versus Alabama. That's tough. But, I mean... They both made it to their conference championships. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Texas, man. Like... I want to pick Alabama, but just something about it, like, I can't just pick every team I want. Like, it's not going to work like that. So, I'm going Texas, man. Shout out to Alabama, but I think Texas is going to make it. All right, now we got Illinois versus Oklahoma State. Hmm. K versus Illinois. That's tough. I feel like K could beat anybody. Like, if he, if he do what he got to do, he could probably beat every team on this, in this bracket. But, that being said... Ayo is that, is that boy. I gotta go Illinois, man. I gotta go Illinois. And then we got Syracuse versus Houston. I got Houston going. Houston in the final four, man. All right, we back up here. We got Gonzaga against Iowa right here. If y'all can't see where I'm at, we right here. We got Gonzaga versus Iowa, which is tough. Tough. But... I'm going Gonzaga, man. Again, I, I, I mess with Jalen Suggs a lot. I mess with Jalen Suggs, excuse me. I mess with Jalen Suggs a lot. Okay, now we got Baylor versus O State. And this is tough because I haven't really watched too much Ohio State, which is kind of sad because they've been super good this year. But the one game I did watch, they lost to Illinois. 
So that's really all I really got to base this off of. Well, actually, I lie. I watched them a couple other times where they got dubs, but the most important game I watched, they lost, which I think is going to happen again. So I'm going Baylor. All right, down here we got Michigan versus Texas. Hmm. Ah, that's tough for my final four. Wait, no, it's not the final four. It's the Elite Eight. Michigan, Texas, we're right here. Y'all haven't realized where we at right now. This is the this is the go to the final four. Um, I gotta go. I gotta go. Nah. I want to say Michigan just because you know that's close to my hometown. That's that's close to where I'm from. It's about maybe uh maybe 45, 50 minutes from, from Toledo. But I'm gonna I'm I'm go with Texas, man. I think Texas gonna get it done. Texas to the final four, that's my Cinderella, Texas. Well, I guess that's not really a Cinderella, but that's my sleeper. We got Illinois versus Houston to go to round out the last of the, of the final four. And I gotta go Illinois, man. Again, I like what I see out of them. They got that other big dude too, the big. I, I can't remember his name, but he's huge. And I think he got, I think, I think Illinois gonna do it. So we made it. We made it to the final four, y'all. Got Gonzaga against Texas and Baylor versus Illinois. That's my, that's my final four. So we're gonna go to the left. And who's gonna win out of Gonzaga and Texas? Hmm gonna be tough it's gonna be tough but I gotta go Gonzaga man Gonzaga I heard they one of the best teams in the country like in the last you know five to ten years this is one of the best teams you know that been, that's been around so I'm gonna go with what they saying and Gonzaga is, is in the national championship on my bracket and then to round it out who's gonna be playing against Gonzaga in the national championship game hmm Baylor versus Illinois let me know who y'all got in this. I know, I'm pretty sure in y'all brackets it's gonna be different. So y'all probably not gonna have Baylor or Illinois in y'all final four. But if y'all do, or even if y'all don't, like who y'all think will win that matchup? Baylor or Illinois? Because I'm kind of torn. Like these are actually two teams that I know a little bit about that I've actually did a little bit of research on. And both of them are, are, some, are two, obviously two of the best teams in the country. So for my decision, I'm going with Illinois, man. Illinois versus Gonzaga in the national championship game. And who's going to win it all? Who's going to win it all in the national championship game? All right, so again, this is the last question I'm going to ask y'all. If it's just so happened or if not, you know, whatever. Who y'all got winning this game right here? Gonzaga versus Illinois. And for me, the national championship on the best bracket ever created is Gonzaga, man. Gonzaga it is. I got set the final score. The final score of this game is gonna be 70 to 62. Bam. That's what it is, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, let me know what y'all think about my bracket. Let me know if I think it's trash, if it's good. Uh, just let me know whatever, man. As y'all can see, I'm not that informed with what's going on with this bracket, but that don't matter. I know basketball, you know, I, I've been around enough to know a little bit about what's going on, what I haven't do a bunch of research. So let me know what y'all think about my bracket, man, and I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm out.